sir. All right. Good. Pay my cash or credit card today. Credit card. Okay, if you let me look at your rental agreement, I'll see if I can give you a receipt right here. All right. This is not only a palm top computer, it also has a kind of cellular phone and portable printer hooked up to it. It's used by these Hertz rental agents to check in cars, and it's essentially taken the place of the old desktop terminals that they used to use. Today, you can have the power of a computer in your palm top, from the full-fledged computers like the Atari portfolio to the specialized units like the Sharp Wizard or the Casio Boss. Today, we'll take a look at the full range of palm top computers on this edition of the Computer Chronicles. The Computer Chronicles is made possible in part by the Software Publishers Association, which reminds you it's a federal offense to copy software. The SBA provides information on how to stay software legal. Funding is also provided by PC Connection and Mac Connection, and by Byte Magazine and Bix. Welcome to the Computer Chronicles. I'm Douglas Nichols, standing in for Stuart Chaffe, and with me this week is Tim Paharan. Tim, welcome. Thank you. Today we're looking at palm top computers. One of the one of the first devices that you'll remember if you were like me, you had one of these, an HP programmable calculator. Mm -hmm. One K of memory, 49 different instructions you could give it. Now we've got the Atari portfolio. You can run any MS-DOS program on this device, and other than the fact that it's got a uh, small screen, it is an MS-DOS PC. Right. The question I have for you today is what's the point? Do we need to continue to miniaturize these devices or might it be just as reasonable to spend more time on the risk-based systems or perhaps upgrading and making more powerful the laptop systems? Well, actually, we're going to see both. We're going to see that the portables are going to become much more powerful. You'll probably see some risk-based systems and more powerful 386s. But we're also going to see little devices like this that we call companion computers. I like it. These are devices that can go with us anywhere, and we can use them for editing, uh, taking down information, databases, etc. And we can do it on the road anywhere we happen to be, and then take it back and dump it right back to our personal computer. And as a result, both this low-end or smaller type machine is going to become very popular over the next few years, and we'll see both types of computers becoming a more important part of the way we work. Today we're going to look at several new palm top computers. We'll see the Sharp Wizard, the Casio Boss, and we'll even look at more specialized palm tops like the Electronic Bible. Hewlett Packard was among the first to come up with the palm top, and it's still pioneering these devices, like the HP line of business, financial, and scientific palm tops. In fact, these HP devices have become so popular, there are even classes that teach people how to use them. Here's a report. Notice I'm filling the buckets, and I'm filling them in any order. The University of California Extension program in Berkeley offers a course that teaches students how to use Hewlett Packard's latest financial calculators. The class is called Understanding the Time Value of Money, and students typically include lawyers and real estate investors. Depositing $150 a month, say, in, in a bank at 10% interest for three years or 36 months. The question is, how much do we have in that bank after 36 months? HP's newest models, the 17B and the 19B, operate in algebraic entry mode. Users are guided by a series of prompts to enter the data and solve for the unknown variable. The new calculators contain a unique feature called the solve function. It lets the investor create and store his own mathematical formula and customize the calculator for a particular business use. We can give clients a lot better information more quickly and more exact information so they're benefited and also as a user and investor myself I'm able to secure answers to questions that help me in negotiation because I'm able to uh, have the answers to certain problems where the other side of negotiation may not be as knowledgeable so that's a, a negotiation strategy both models 17 and 19 are priced at over hundred dollars but if time is money the calculators may be a shortcut route to making more for the computer chronicles i'm maria gabriel There are two companies that have led the way in developing palm top computer technologies. Here to show us their products are Mike Wiener, CEO of Selectronics, and Peter Yonelos, president of Franklin Electronic Publishers. Tim. 
Mike, these little uh, devices have been on the market for a while now, and they're fascinating and have actually started to get a lot of response in the market. What do you think the impact of these are going to be? Well, it's a very significant impact. Uh, just in the uh, last year, these two companies represented here have done over $100 million worth of business mm. and growing. Uh, we've just launched in Europe and in Japan. The impact is very significant because uh, I think that these type of computers are going to touch more people uh, in the years ahead than PCs and Macs have touched uh, to date. And that's a lot. That's a large number. We're talking about uh, these units uh, in, uh, in all representative companies, over 4 million units a year now and growing very rapidly. So I think the impact will be dramatic. Peter, I want to I take a look at your uh, spelling ace, but before we do, I want you to tell me what's going to guarantee that if I buy one of these for my brother-in-law, I don't go over there and find it in the bottom of his drawer along <laughs> with all the other things I buy him. Well, well, Douglas, you still might, but I don't think you will. Uh, th this product, uh, since its introduction in uh, uh, 1987, uh, has sold over 3 million units and has basically marked the emergence of the electronic book. And fads generally don't last that long or involve uh, really the, the kind of demographic spread we've seen here. It, it's used by a wide variety of people, and we have tremendous mail about the product. All right. Now, how about the elementary, uh, the elementary school? Is that, do you find any, any use in that in the schools? Are they using it? Oh, in absolutely. Franklin has a uh, quite an aggressive uh, educational support program, and we are becoming uh, an integrated and important part of a number of classrooms in this country. This product, unlike most of our products, is aimed at a particular age range. Okay. How's how's my little girl going to use it? Well, if she's reading about kangaroos, I I think it's a fair bet she may encounter the word marsupial and uh, might attempt to spell that word, as I might, M-A-R-S-O-U-P-E-A-L. Not an unreasonable... Basically just the way we might want to sound it out. <laughs> English, uh, English is not a, right. a well-organized language in that sense, and it's hard for children sure. to acquire it. The unit has corrected the spelling to M-A-R-S-U-P-I-A-L. Okay. And now, by hitting one key, the page key, she can learn that on page 303 of this Merriam-Webster dictionary, there's an article and there's information about marsupials and a definition. Are they sold together? Yes, they're sold together. And as a pair, they, they do several things at once. They help teach spelling and they overcome the fear of using a dictionary. What's the price on that, that particular pair in the book? And the, the suggested retail is $79.95 as a pair. Okay, how about the uh, how about your uh, spelling speaker, your your spelling speaking dictionary? Speaking dictionary please. Well, the yes, word dictionary you. is very important because it is a, it's a true dictionary. Dictionary, the word dictionary is used many different ways in electronics, but this dictionary has in it true definitions of of, of what the word uh, what the words mean. If I enter a word such as potpourri. I can quickly read about that word. Get definitions. And get definitions. I could explore an amazingly rich thesaurus and learn about it, learn about alternate words. Right. But I can hit this button labeled say right. and confirm <laughs> that it is pronounced Pogori. Pogori. I heard that. OK, how about you got one more quickly? Uh, well, th this is an important book because this, this is uh, the world's first electronic Bible and marks the beginning of a new line and I think a type of product you're going to see a lot more of. It, it, it has the whole text of the Old and New Testament in it. And uh, the same technology will next year be used to publish the Columbia Encyclopedia from Franklin. If you enter the word meek into this product, you rapidly learn that there are exactly seven books of the Bible that include the word meek. But, but you, it's, it's likely you wouldn't want to go searching through all seven of the books. So you could add the word inherit. And a fraction of a second later discover Pick that there are, there are only two places in the Bible, one in the Old Testament, Psalms, and the New Testament, Matthew, in which the word meek and inherit occur close together. <laughs> If I, at this point, press one key, I can read from Psalm 3711, which says, but the meek shall inherit the earth. Moving to Matthew, I note that 5.5 says, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Without the electronic medium, people could not view a book right. in this way. Right. That's very impressive, Peter. I'd like to uh, take a look at what you've got, Mike. I know you've got the, uh, the word finder. 
And you might want to want to uh, show that real quickly. Yeah, this is a spelling check of thesaurus that adds definitions and an, uh, an, a flashcard feature to quickly uh, bring words up that you can guess the meaning of and then find out what they uh, mean. As you can see, it's very small, fits in your pocket, and we've redesigned it and cost reduced it so it's on the market for just seventy nine ninety five. The Berlitz uh, Euro Traveler is a ten language phrase book which lets you go to and from any of ten languages, English, French, German, Spanish, Italian, Danish, Norwegian, Dutch, Swedish, and Portuguese. Okay, I gotta ask you, what, uh, real briefly, because I don't want to get into it too heavily, what's the storage technology that you've got? We, uh, we've taken the equivalent of 45 phrase books that big and oh. squeezed them on down to a single microchip using uh, compression developed at the Xerox Palo Alto Research Center that we have the exclusive license for, so that uh, you can instantly get uh, the, the uh, phrase either by looking for the word or looking by the category. So if I type in taxi here, as you'll see, uh, uh, something we all need. We always need a well, taxi. Well, yeah, you do need one when Especially you get to the France, airport. Right? That's right. <laughs> yeah. So there's uh, there is where can I get a taxi? If I hit the translate button, it comes up in French. Où puis-je trouver un taxi? Now this ah. is uh, mostly European. How soon are we going to see Japanese? In about three months. Okay. There'll be a unit out in Japanese. Next year we'll also have Korean. And, uh, and we're already shipping a word finder in France in French. Okay, now I know you've got the impossible in your pocket. It's yeah, a the rumor. impossible in my pocket. It's an encyclopedia. It's, a, it's the Random House Encyclopedia, which uh, we think is a product that can change the world because kids like it, because it has what I call a Nintendo effect that really turns them on and makes them want to get in there uh, and learn something. Now, if we wanted to uh, like f it. find out uh, who's the president of the Philippines as an example, you can't look that up in an encyclopedia too easily. Uh, here you can just type in uh, Philippines and uh, type in uh, President. And it goes right to the reference? Hit enter, it takes a second, and up comes Carazon Aquino, who we discover uh, was educated in the U.S. She grew up in a wealthy family, two things I didn't know. And when she man uh, married uh, Mr. Aquino and he got assassinated, she then uh, led the uh, bloodless revolution. We can uh, also uh, in access information hierarchically by looking up science and technology and seeing all the categories under science and technology. We can put in electronic bookmarks, put in our own notes, and most importantly, there's a cartridge slot to use this device to be able to get credit card size cartridges that'll contain all of the spelling check of thesaurus, the Berlitz translator, the Bible, etc. That's impressive. Very good, Mike. Thank you, Peter. One of the fastest growing categories of palm top computers is the electronic organizer. But these devices can do more than just organize. Here's a report on the new Zion XP computer. The Delancey Street Foundation is a sprawling halfway house in San Francisco for recovering alcoholics and drug addicts. The foundation's brand new building uses a PC to control its heating and ventilating systems. But if the PC should fail, the foundation's engineer can turn to a Scion XP handheld computer as emergency backup. By connecting the Scion to a control panel in the boiler room, the engineer can have direct control over the entire complex without waiting for outside help. Before, if my main terminal crashed and I had difficulties with the environmental control system in some way, I would have to call a company in San Jose who would in turn log on with a modem, which sometimes would take a couple hours when they fit it into their schedule. Uh, and it, and it had me hung up for those periods. So now with the Poseidon, I can use it and uh, hook it up to my uh, central system, log on and make any necessary changes uh, with the program or any other equipment. The Scion has 32K of RAM. It plugs into the serial port of the building's climate control unit with a modem. Using menu-driven commands, the engineer can adjust temperature readings, change pressure levels, or even turn water boilers on and off. The handheld also features built-in desktop accessories like a calculator and clock. The Scion was one of many donations given to complete the rehabilitation center for alcoholics and drug addicts. And like the goal of the foundation, the Scion puts the user in control of any crisis. The downtime is strictly in my, my hands. I have control of the downtime if I have the Poseidon. Otherwise, I'm at somebody else's mercy, basically. For the Computer Chronicles, I'm Maria Gabriel. Palm top computers cover a wide category of products, from organizers to palm top games. Joining us now are Bill Saddam. He's the editor of 
editor-in-chief of Portable Computing Magazine. And joining us also is Karen Johnson. She's the manager of one of the San Francisco stores of the Sharper Image. Tim. Bill, earlier in the show I was talking about companion computing, the ability to take these little devices with us anywhere we go, in our coat pockets or whatever, and then be able to put in information and then download it back to our desktop PCs when we get back to our office. I noticed you've got a couple of these uh, type of products here. Could you give us a little idea of how they work? Uh, yes, Tim. These devices take the place of a laptop computer for someone who doesn't want to carry something that bulky and only needs uh, certain functions. Mm -hmm. For example, either one of these machines will give you calendar and scheduling functions, as well as the ability to record memos. And you can have credit, uh, excuse me, business card information, telephone numbers, things of that nature stored. You also can find out what time it is, any city in the world that right. you'd like to select. What kind of I.O. do you get with that? I know you've got a keyboard, but I mean, uh, can you up and download? We talked about that, but... Yes, Doug, this uh, Sharp OZ8200 will replace virtually any portable computer function. It can communicate with a printer, with a modem, it can act as a terminal to communicate with other computers or bulletin board systems. And it does it through a serial port? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Uh, it also has the option of connecting with a similar machine, with, an, with another Sharp. Uh, How about the, uh, the boss? The sure boss has, has similar capabilities. Uh, this is a smaller machine. This is a 64 kilobyte machine versus the 128 kilobytes of the wizard. However, you can expand the memory of the boss by adding a 64K RAM card, which looks very similar to this ROM that I have in my hand. Okay, and, and you can change the, uh, the memory inside, inside the boss essentially with that card, correct? Yes, you can. If you have the RAM card, you can uh, treat it much like a floppy disk. I can and make it a word processor. I can. Yes, you can store data. You can use it to, to back things up that are in your okay. machine. What have you got here? Well, this is an electronic dictionary. This has over 95,000 words in it, and it will allow us to check usage, to check spelling uh, and hyphenation, uh, as well as abbreviations, come to think of it. And basically, you just put it in one of these little slots, is that it? Yes, I'll show you how that works. We have to t turn the machine off, right? And we unlock it, like so. Slide the card out. This is actually a placeholder that I have in here now. It protects the machine from dust. I'm going to have to pick it up. All right. There we go. Just slide in the new card. The new card slides right in, locks into place, like so. I mean, you can do RAM as well. Same, same process. Same, same process, slot. exactly. Same now, slot. when you turn it on, it comes up with a new set of functions. Now, let's try spelling. Uh, well, let's, let's skip spelling. We think we've done enough of right. that on this show. How about if we check an abbreviation? There you go. Let's take uh, MD, for example, and see what we get here. As soon as I can find the letters. I'm not used to working upside down. And now we select the abbreviation function here. And we want to expand that abbreviation. Right. Mm -hmm. And then it'll give us the full word. It'll search sure and tell enough. us what MD is an abbreviation for. Okay. Now, I ask you, does it go in the same slot? Then would uh, uh, random access memory would, would go in the same slot? In exactly the same way. Okay. The difference right. is that you would not see the same uh, set of functions when right. you power the right. machine up. You would just be storing that as additional memory. Okay. okay. Let's turn to Karen for just a second. She's got a handful of items here that uh, one might uh, see in the Sharper Image catalog, correct? Yeah, we have it in the Sharper Image catalog and in the stores. This is something new from Rolodex. Now, you know, Rolodex has always been on right. paper. Now they've gone electronic and they put a little chip in here. Did they have to make it round. I, gotta <laughs> ask. I, I think they had to, to stick with it, yeah. So people would think Rolodex. That's and right. uh, this is the Electrodex, and it has a. Uh, uh, 2K in it, so it'll c remember all kinds of uh, names, and you can put in um, oh a couple letters if you remember something about letters. And again, upside down here we. But this is a little more two. sophisticated than the ones they've had in the past, because this wouldn't even can call out. Is that right? Yeah. Now that you've got the name, you hit the auto dial, and it's got an auto dial function built right in, and you can have the thing dial it for you. And when you want do a little wind on that, it goes to the next name. Yes, you Come can go on. next name like that. that. There's yes. a sharper image. There we have uh, Karen Johnson. Funny, they're at the same phone number, but that's where you can reach me at the sharper image. But we have. Uh, some stuff for travel, which is kind of fun. This looks like a little camera case here. And actually, this is a talking translator that we uh, have. And they can speak in male or female voices. <laughs> and uh, you can come up with, um, there it's working. So we can speak in a male voice and go to, uh, oh, let's spell out, say, money. So we've got M-O-N-E-Y. What would be helpful if you 
put it incorrectly there, but in Great Britain, which would be English, it'll do English, French, Italian, German, and Spanish. Right. So we can get it to, um, let's see. There's, there would be English, or you could get it in Spanish. Or, let's see, Italian. And you can go back to Great Britain, which would be English, and you can go through the help function, and it'll give you all kinds of different phrases that the word money appears in, and it'll say the whole sentence for you. So you can say that you want to exchange this money in Italian. So that's pretty sharp, too. Now, these are, these are good little uh, productivity-type things for us in travel or in the home. Any games that we can play? Actually, yeah, there are some games that you can take on your travels with you. Something tells me. Or even uh, with the rain coming up, the golfers like this 18-hole golf course of some of the best golf courses around. Spyglass, Augusta's on here, and all you do is turn it on, and you've got a little golfer. You can choose your club and get up to the hole, and by holding the button down, actually it takes a little skill to bring this along and actually swack that ball right up the middle. Oh, my oh, gosh. Duck hook, how, wasn't how it? How did I do I'm that? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm I not sure. Know. It's cheaper than buying a lot of water balls. It could have been straight down the middle. But it really does help you hone in on your golfing uh, techniques because you have to use the right club to hit the right distance. And that's something that you're thinking. So you're thinking golf. And when you get back out on the course, you can play better. And something else you can play with the computer is the bridge computer. And this is something normally it takes four people to play. But the computer has got the intelligence to put in the other three players for you. My favorite thing is, of course, that if I don't like the deal, I can just get another deal <laughs> with more cards until I get enough points so that I end up winning with my partner. I got a question for you. How does it make its decisions? Well, you do have levels of play, and you do have one through eight levels of play. It plays on the Blackwood Stamen Convention, so it is on bridge conventions that people are, are used to learning. Okay, I've got a question. now. It wasn't that long ago we had dedicated word processors, we had calculators, we had individual items that did specific things for us. And then when we, when we came to the PCs, we had, all of a sudden, we had our calculations being done on a PC. We could do our own word processing, we could do spreadsheets, we could do this, that, and the other thing. Now, all of a sudden, everything's, uh, everything's application-specific. Is that the way we're going to be going here? Are we going to pretty soon have a little, a little uh, spreadsheet uh, toy and, and uh, that sort of thing, or what? I think you're going to see that. I think in travel you see some of the specifics on games as well as the uh, processors here that keep information for you for whoever wants to use them for something so they don't have to learn everything, just what they want to learn. It'll work just for them. Give us some prices real quick, could you? Let's see. We're only at $99 here on the Electric Dex. Uh, the bridge game is at $129. The golf game's at $89. And this talking translator is $249. And Bill? $299.95 for the boss, $399.95 for the wizard. Very good. Thank you very much, Bill and Karen. That's our look at Palm Top Computers. Stay tuned for this week's computer news. In the random access file this week, some new products are being announced for the new Macintoshes. Far Along Computing has introduced Disk Paper, a software program designed to simplify document distribution between networked Macs, regardless of the type of Mac on the network. Disk Paper creates multiple representations of any document and then sends the appropriate image needed by the receiving computer. Disk Paper is priced at $150. It will be released later this year. A new Canadian company called AView Technology has come up with an add-in board that will let PCs display television images. The board allows PCs equipped with multi-sync monitors to toggle back and forth between a full-screen video display and a full-screen computer display. The card only allows viewing of the video images. Since the signal is not digitized, it cannot be frame-grabbed or displayed in a window. If you subscribe to the caller identification feature offered by your phone company, Rochelle Communications has a product for you. It's called Caller ID Plus, and it links your PC to your phone service using both hardware and software. The hardware identifies the telephone number of the person calling, while the RAM resident software program pops up a DBase 3 file record on the caller, including a call history file and a note editor. Caller ID Plus can also keep track of unanswered calls. Turning to this week's top 10 software titles in the Macintosh, Mac Connection reports that Berkeley Systems After Dark is number one, followed by Semantic Sam. Number three is Adobe Type Manager 2.0, with Fulbright coming in fourth. In fifth place is Quicken for the Mac. 
Rounding out the top 10 are Microsoft Word, Pyro by Fifth Generation, Excel, Peter Norton's Mac Utilities, and Disk Doubler from Salient. Systems Compatibility Incorporated has created a pop-up data transfer utility called Outside In. The program provides direct data transfer from over 50 different file formats. You can scan your hard disk, import all or part of a file, and use it either in its original format or match it to a new file format. Time now for Paul Schindler in this week's Software Review. In real life, there is usually more than one solution, but sometimes it's hard to see. That's where Flexographs comes in, a Macintosh graphics package for playing what-if games. You can directly manipulate graphics, then let the program produce the underlying numbers in spreadsheet format. This is a visual and interesting way of approaching a difficult business task. You can have standard, clunky Mac dialog boxes or graphical ones. You can lock a wedge. You can change the total size of the pie. If you don't like pies, you can change the color of patterns. Or use line charts or bar charts. In case you think you may want to get back to where you started, you make a ghost marker of your original position and when you're done, voila, there's a spreadsheet underneath. It's easily exportable to any other spreadsheet. You can draw freeform graphics and the program will create a spreadsheet, which you can in turn manipulate. You want 21% more? You can get it. This is the ultimate tool for what ifing. Flexographs is $150 from Tree Star Incorporated in Santa Barbara, California. For the Computer Chronicles, I'm Paul Schindler. For the millions of flight simulator enthusiasts, Microsoft has released a new scenery and aircraft design program. PC pilots can now fly over their own houses or towns using the scenery designer, and you can choose from an expanded fleet of aircraft using the aircraft designer, including the state-of-the-art Boeing 747-400. Finally, the Lima Datacom Security Corporation proved its point again this year. It offered a free round-the-world trip to any hacker who could break through its computer security system to retrieve a hidden message. More than 2,000 would-be hackers took the challenge, but no one succeeded. The secret message read, quote, the persistent hunter who wins his prize sooner or later becomes the hunted. That's it for this week's Computer Chronicles. I'm Kate McGargy. The Computer Chronicles is made possible in part by the Software Publishers Association, which reminds you it's a federal offense to copy software. The SBA provides information on how to stay software legal. Funding is also provided by PC Connection and Mac Connection and by Byte Magazine and Bix. For a transcript of this week's Computer Chronicles, send $4 to PTV Publications, Post Office Box 701, Kent, Ohio, 44240. Please indicate program date.